Hi, and welcome back uh, to my channel. So here I have my Nano VNA, and in the last uh, few days I used it uh, quite a bit because I was trying uh, to tune uh, us using an antenna tuner. I was trying to impedance match uh, a long wire antenna, and this was uh, the perfect uh, tool for, for the task. Uh, it worked uh, quite well. Anyway, uh, when I was using it, I was also, you know, reading online and watching uh, tutorials on YouTube. And in particular, um, I came into this, uh, this video published by W2AEW, who has a fantastic YouTube channel about RF and electronics. I suggest you, you take a look at this. Anyway, one of the last few uh, videos uh, talks about, uh, explains how to measure uh, the length of a coax uh, cable using the nano VNA. Okay, uh, the problem is that uh, I tried to reproduce uh, what I was uh, describing, but I couldn't because my nano VNA had um, an old firmware. Okay, I bought this uh, just a few months ago, but the nano VNA is, uh, you know, it's very popular, so the firmware is progressing very quickly. So I needed a new version. And so in this video, I thought, well, uh, I can just uh, share the procedure to update uh, the nano VNA just in case it's useful uh, for you. Okay, so uh, to do that, uh, you need uh, to go to the GitHub uh, page of uh, the firmware. By the way, there are a few firmwares, but this is uh, the GitHub page of uh, probably the most popular one, okay? It's uh, the one maintained by Eddie888. Anyway, this is uh, the website. And uh, right, so you go there. And um, and here in the about section, there are the instructions on how to compile for uh, macOS and Linux. So I am here in uh, Ubuntu. So I just uh, really copy and paste these instructions. And so these are instructions needed to install this uh, DFU util functionality. Okay, this is what is necessary for the computer to talk with uh, the Nano VNA. And once we have done that, uh, you simply go, um, uh, where is it, uh, here on releases. Uh, you check out uh, what is the, the latest uh, releases and you download uh, this uh, file. In this case, NanoVNA version 0 .0. Uh, So I already done that. Here there is the zip. It just contains uh, three files called uh, ch and I have extracted them uh, in this uh, directory here. Okay, so they are there at the moment. And once you have done that, uh, you're almost done. Uh, it's, it, it's enough to uh, do the following. So first of all, uh, you need to connect uh, to uh, shut off, uh, power off uh, your um, nano VNA, connect it to the USB, as it is now, and reboot it uh, by pressing this button that uh, you have here. Uh, depending on the version of Nano VNA you have, uh, this could be either a jumper that you have to manually plug or a button like, like I have. So I'm going to push it now. So this is going to tell uh, the Nano VNA to reboot into programming mode, okay? And so as you can see now, I have done that and it just displays this white uh, screen. Nothing is going on, okay? So now the Nano VNA can be programmed. And uh, right, so the only thing I need to do is, uh, it's written in the Wikipedia page, and I have to execute uh, this command here. Uh, okay, so I just go to the folder where I have put uh, my files that I have downloaded, and uh, this is the command. Uh, and instead of being uh, in the directory build, I just put it this, them in this uh, directory, so I'm just going to write uh, this. And, and that's it. Now the Nano VNA is being uh, reprogrammed with the latest uh, firmware. It takes a few seconds. Not too much. And done. Now uh, we are done. And uh, as you can see, the Nano VNA has rebooted with a new firmware. Um, so let me show you. You can now go to, uh, what is it, uh, config uh, version, and it shows you the latest version. So this is uh, um, build time. Uh, uh, I don't know if you can see. 
let's see anyway it says that this is the version of the 19th of june uh, unfortunately this camera is really not good at focusing close by things but anyway it's updated to the latest version and it's very simple as you could see very fast and since the development of the nano dna is really is really fast uh, uh yeah it's worth uh, updating this unit every couple of months or so uh, because uh, it's uh, really great what uh, what you can do with this uh 50 euros um, device uh given the software that they are developing so that's all for this video i hope it was uh, useful and um, i see you next time bye bye